Hey, hey. So, are you thinking of making Sydney satchel but you don't know what lock to choose? Or you've come from a little peruse of my different flap options? So, obviously, the instructions include a plain flap. If you've watched the video on the sew along, you'll see this is the one I've literally just made, and it has a flip lock. Flip locks are super easy to do. The only tricky bit is obviously cutting a hole in your finished flap, which can be a bit daunting, but once it's done, it looks amazing. So with the flip lock, you would cut your hole. I use these leather punches, excuse the glare on the light, to cut my hole. And I stuff the bag with a hand towel, mark, position for this bit you will see I've covered this in the sew along so I've gone into depth on this one because I really like this one actually and then after we put the body one on then we sew up the turning up but most of these can be put on after there is only one exception of which I will show you at the end but that one is a press lock and I've done this two-tone stripe on the flap which is why it's too thick for a thumb lock. This is a different one here. For this one I've done all the same colour on the outer pieces. Would not, 10 out of 10, not recommend if you've got a domestic. Don't even try it, it's far too thick. If you've got a machine that's got a bit of oomph, I used quite a heavy needle. Needle? Yeah, that's the right word. In my machine. But I really like that one. So this one has a press lock too. Again, I cut I constructed the bag, put the lock in the flap, used that to measure the part on the body, then inserted that bit. Put them out of the way, but far too many. This gorgeous little number is the one in the instructions. So this one, all the body is one colour, and the flap is continued through. I've used a half moon one on this one, so this one you add at the end. And then stuff it again to, just so that the bag is in the right shape. And then you have a little peeky peek to see where the centre is. Mark it. Then you use your washer to mark the prong holes. Cut them, insert them, close up the turning gap. I should also point out... Because I used a thicker fabric for this one, all of my lining is the same colour. Because obviously I can't use tweed on the lining. That's that one. And I've got two thumb lock ones here. So with the thumb lock, I put this bit on the flap. I'll show you with this one here. So this one is inserted on the flap. Then I put the body part onto it. I'll just show you on the side here. Then I see where it touches the body. And mark those prong holes. Those prong holes are marked on here. And you can use your plate to just mark them properly, cut them, insert this through the body of the bag, this on the back, lovely jubbly. And again, all of these, I've covered the backs with duct tape just to protect the lining. So all of these ones, the moon, the 
lip locks and the thumb locks all put on at the end the only exception is if you wanted to use a magnetic snap so i've done something a bit fancy here don't ask what i've done <sighs> i went a bit off piste i think it looks pretty cool doesn't it so i've gone for a thicker accent band and a thin one inside and i've just added that for decoration just because so this one is a magnetic snap magnetic snap needs to be put on before you even construct the flap when you've got your two pieces separate you pick your lining what i would do is take your lining pattern piece and measure uh say so i think i did one and a half on that one so that's the position of my snap so we'll get your lining flap lining piece mark it flip it over just to double check it's central and use your washer over so you want the center over your mark mark the prong holes and then you can insert this part in the flap then go ahead and construct the flap this is the only one that i've done that cannot be done at the end you have to do it before the flap and the bag are constructed then once the bag is constructed again stuff it and you can have a little peek to see where it wants to sit mark it on the bag and I always say this with any bag, and you'll hear me say it a lot, just put the lock on at the end. If you want to change the lock from the pattern and the measurements aren't there, providing that there isn't a pocket on the front, which is why the pocket is on the back, you can put the lock on at the end, especially with these and these. It's just the magnetic snap that needs to be put on during construction. There you go. Hopefully there's a bit of inspiration for you. I have been super duply busy. It's just bags coming out of my ears. Now, as you can tell, I haven't made straps anymore because I'm really naughty. So I've got a load of straps to make. But there you go. Have some Sydneys. Any questions? If you need any additional help or if I've just literally spoke at 100 words a minute, please feel free to pop some comments below or come on over to the Facebook group. If you've got any really in-depth construction questions, come on over to the Facebook group. The link is down below in the description and I can help you out. There you go. Bit of inspiration, bit of luck. Bit of everything.